All right, guys. So in my last video, I told y'all that I was gonna upgrade the cheap fish finder on there eventually. Well, I found a great deal on this one. It was normally like 780, and I got it for 400. So we couldn't pass up that offer, and we bought it. <clears throat> and actually, the other one uh, ended up dying. Like it wouldn't turn back on anymore, so it worked out. So starting off, it's a Garmin EcoMap 73DV. It's got down scan, sonar, and navigation. So let's turn it on real quick, and I'll show you all the features it has. I don't know if y'all can see it very well, but hopefully you can. So it says agree to something, and you just click OK. And so whenever you first turn it on, it takes you to this screen. You can choose it. You can go to sonar, and then you can do just like your regular old sonar. And it's not reading anything because like I'm on land right now. But it's just a plain sonar. And then your down scan. Then you have both, like a split screen. And you have, I have no idea what that means, split zoom. I don't know. Flasher, I've, I've never, I don't use that, but I know people, whenever they ice fish, use a fish finder that has a flasher on it so they can see, like, what's, uh, what's going on, like, the movement down there. And I guess it says sonar recordings. You can record it. I did not know that, but that's cool. You can record your sonar. And this is your graph of, like, what you've been fishing. Then we'll go back to the main menu, and you can do charts. Is your navigation. It's got knows exactly where you are. There's my home lake right there, Lake Grapevine. Fish that all the time. And then this weekend I'm heading up to Lake Murray in Oklahoma, which is right about there in Oklahoma. And this thing's got everything. So you can see you can see the like topographic map, like you can see the depth and stuff. It's crazy. I'll get, zoom in and show you. So here I am. Say I've never fished this lake. I go to this map. I can see that down here. It, it, it's real deep in the middle, 60 feet deep. That's pretty deep for lakes around here. And then over here by the dam, it drops off fast and it gets to 50 real quick. If you zoom in, the lines are really close, so that you can tell it drops fast, 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 like every few feet it's dropping far. It says even 100 feet right there, some pockets of 100 in the middle. It's just, it's got everything. It shows you everything that you need to know. And then you can click mark right here whenever you're on the water, and it knows that there's something right there that you want to like remember for next time. And then you got your perspective, so I guess whenever you set a uh, like a route, it shows it's almost like a GPS in your car. It'll like show you the turns and stuff. And then you got your combinations, and then this is the one I like the most. The it's got your navigation right there, so I'll use that whenever I'm like moving around. I know that there's a lay down or something over there, and I can see that. And you have your sonar and your down scan. And whenever I'm sitting and fishing, I'll flip this around. It's on a ram mount. And I'll flip it around to where I can see it up at the front up there while I'm fishing. And I can, uh... So I don't need to buy a second one up front. I can just flip it around. And I think whenever I'm fishing, I'll use, uh... The down scan and sonar. This one. Half down scan, half sonar, so I can see... Like, what I need to... Like what I'm looking at while I'm fishing instead of navigation. Unless I have some good spots marked or like I need to know. Then it's got man overboard and you can send this uh, man overboard. And I don't know where it goes but it notifies someone that there's a man overboard and you need help. And like you can mark it so then you know like, well he was right over here whenever he fell off the boat or whatever. It's got your time up here. I'll click on the chart again. You can see... GPS heading, your GPS speed, your depth, 
and then your position exactly so it's got your coordinates on there and then over here navigation info your numbers you got all your numbers that you need you got your GPS position your off course like on your course to your spot it remembers it and it says you're off course this far your bearing your maximum speed saying like your fastest speed GPS heading all your numbers that you need then it's got inland services like it'll tell you where your boat ramp your closest boat ramp is I'm on land right now and it says your closest boat ramp is 5.15 miles away and then 5.34 5.44 all the like all the ramp uh, boat ramps around me, and then it shows marinas. Scotts Landing Marina, Silver Lake, all these ones at uh, Twin Coves, these ones at the home lake, my home lake that I fish at. Those are just like on the water. If I needed a marina, I needed gas or something, I could just click it in and it'll show me where I'm going. So, like I said earlier, I said I'm gonna be able to turn the fish find around. So I turn it around up here, whenever I'm fishing, up here you can see it down. It says it's such a nice screen and it's bright and stuff, I can see it all the way up there even whenever it's really sunny outside. So that's, that's what I can do whenever I flip it around, all because of this ram mount down here. They're like $47 for a universal mount and I highly recommend it. They're really strong and heavy. like. It isn't your cheap plastic, and you can move it around any angle. I can have it go straight up. I can have it go to the side. I can have it go anywhere, and I can turn it around. I can go up to the side, wherever I want it to go. So, would highly recommend these ram mounts for your fish. Hopefully I'll be posting some more videos pretty soon.